Hello viewers, you join us on an extremely warm day. I'm in a leather suit, sweating, tired, but it is all worth it. This is the Kawasaki Ninja ZX6R. In 2024, one of the major updates is this 4.3 inch color LCD screen and other electronic aids include traction control, four riding modes, ABS and a quick shifter. Oh, I also almost forgot to mention, to make the Ninja a little bit more easier to ride in traffic, Kawasaki have also given it two power modes, full and low. While the rest of the world religiously stuck to the 600cc displacement, Kawasaki went a little bit more. This is a 636cc inline four liquid cooled engine and it produces 125 horsepower and 69 Newton meters of peak torque. The red line is a very high 15,000 RPM and you can also push the motorcycle as far as 16,000 RPM if needed. The compression ratio is at 12.9 is to one. And the only regrettable thing is that because of emission norms, this motorcycle is actually a little low on par when compared to its predecessor, between four to five horsepower. The suspension on the ZX6R is handled by a Showa big piston fork at the front and a Showa monoshock at the rear. This one is linked and both of them have adjustable everything, preload, compression and rebound. Now, if you're expecting excellent suspension setup for the city with a ZX6R, well, you're wrong over there. This is a motorcycle that is refined to a purpose. But that being said, for what it is, if you can play around with the adjustment, you will get a decent setup that you can use in the city every day. The way this thing makes power is mad. And the way it decelerates is crazy. You have twin discs at the front and a single disc at the rear, but what you get is Nissan monoblock calipers. Their bite, feel and feedback encourages you to brake deep into a corner or shed speed whenever you need it, however you need it. It has a good low end, a very strong mid range and an exciting, absolutely visceral top end. So regardless of how you ride it, the ZX6R has something for everybody. But it is best enjoyed when the power comes in a tsunami of torque in the upper ends of the rev range. And that requires skill and a lot of bravery to handle. This motorcycle is priced at rupees 11.09 lakh, but that is immaterial because you cannot walk into a Kawasaki showroom and have the salesperson sell you this motorcycle. No, that will not do. You have to walk into the showroom knowing fully well what you're putting your money down for. Buying the ZX6R is about money, is about skill, and more importantly, about passion. This is a motorcycle that you must love because it takes you through the landscape of life so fast that it teaches you to appreciate every single moment you spend on it and every single moment you spend off it. I hope that is everything you need to know about the ZX6R, but most of it is irrelevant regardless of what me or any other reviewer can tell you because this is a motorcycle you buy from the heart because you know you want a super sport. This is Joshua Vergis signing off for Bike India.